Gareth Hughes. Kia ora, nā mihi nui kia koutou, kia ora. Prime Minister, I've sat and I've listened to all your speeches opening Parliament and I'd like to congratulate you on delivering your eighth. It's a real accomplishment and you now must be thinking how history will remember you. Just outside this chamber are the portraits of our great political leaders, from Seddon to Savage, from Fraser to Kirk. How do these giants who establish universal suffrage, a caring state in the midst of a Great Depression and a World War, and built a modern, independent, bicultural New Zealand compare to you? Is the flag it? Your desperate, lumbering, grasping attempt at building a legacy with a flag won't mask the realities. Hungry kids, up. Inequality, up. Pollution, up. Electricity costs, up. Housing costs, up. Foreign ownership, up. Debt, up. Corruption, up. You may have once been a national leader, but now you're looking like a national party leader. Once you attacked the nanny state of efficient light bulbs, but then presided over the most wide-reaching mass surveillance network in our country's history, you passed the Skynet law under urgency, sacked elected councils, then refused elections. You're our first selfie PM, our first comedian PM, a derping, planking, rape-joking expert at getting us on American late-night comedy shows. At a time of growing inequality, rapid global change, and systemic economic problems, we basically got a chilled out entertainer as a Prime Minister. On election night 2011, you first and foremost thanked your pollster. You're our most poll driven Prime Minister, yet after all these years, we still don't know what you stand for, bar the jokes and the three line slogans. Do you see more for New Zealand than just China's dairy farm? and America's spy station. Prime Minister, why just last week on our national day did you run from debate at Waitangi into the arms of rugby players? To the 300,000 Kiwi kids growing up in poverty, do you really say, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for Sky City? Circo, Saudi Sheiks, Media Works, Rio Tinto. Under your leadership, scientists have been ridiculed in silence and NGOs have had their funding and voice cut. Rape crisis centres are closing and food banks are doing a brisk trade. Kiwis are known for their generosity and their hospitality, but Prime Minister, under you, New Zealand has become more welcoming to oil companies than to refugees. Whenever there is a government scandal, there are extreme benefit measures floated. And hey, look, pandas. Prime Minister, you may not have a plum in your mouth like your political hero Holyoke, but you're exactly the same. An arrogant, born to rule, out of touch, short term, kick it down the road style of leadership. You delivered tax cuts the country couldn't afford and are leaving $120 billion in national debt, a superannuation crisis, crippling student loans, and a generation locked out of home ownership. You might call that a legacy. I call it intergenerational theft. Once we were one of the richest nations in the world, yet now Kiwis work some of the longest hours for some of the lowest wages and pay some of the highest costs of living in the OECD. After selling our assets, you're now selling out our sovereignty to corporates and the Hollywood industrial complex. Your small army of spin doctors tell us again and again how you grew up in a state house, but now that you're on the ninth floor, you're even selling them too. But you do seem like a good guy to have a beer with, and no one else in this room could have got away with your antics, your gaffes. How have you got away with it? Well, we could ask Crosby or Texter, and we could also point to the biggest of big business bucks and the dirtiest of dirty tricks operations in this country's history. But Kiwis are a good people, a caring people, and we can reclaim our democracy from dirty politics and big money. One of your legacies is what you cynically call the renter crowd is growing into a real movement for political change. Another legacy is a Green Party bigger and stronger than ever before. Thank you, Prime Minister. Prime Minister, as you reflect, this may be one of your last opening speeches to Parliament. I have no doubt that you will go down in history as one of the most successful politicians of a generation. But by that, 
I mean politician in the sense used on the stuff comment threads.